Trish and this is Fold of the Week, a show where I share powerful print marketing ideas to help you achieve success on any budget. This week I've got a simple, creative, and most importantly effective fundraising mailer idea to show you. It takes a classic and machinable fold and turns it into a vintage style souvenir that inspires a sense of nostalgia and drives donor response. So let's take a closer look. The cover features a fun vintage postcard look with a custom illustration by Beth Wolfensberger Singer and the back is simply a mailing panel. Open it up and it says our message is simple enough to fit on a postcard. As you roll it open there's a tipped on reply envelope and under that some basic stats to support the message of how their support changes the lives of Oberlin students. Unroll it all the way, yes this is a classic roll fold, and there are three more custom Oberlin illustrations that are real postcards that the donor can use. The last panel is a response card. Note that there's also an opportunity to scan a QR code or visit the URL for those who would rather donate online. This fundraising package really connected with donors and performed above expectations. In fact, this vintage style self-mailing fundraiser did better than the tried and true photo heavy envelope mailers from previous years. This mailer is such a great example of how doing something different can really stand out to your audience. In this case, illustration instead of photos and a self mailer instead of the usual envelope enclosed fundraising package. I think the custom illustrations were recognizable and meaningful to the audience, which was the key to connecting emotionally with the donors and inspiring nostalgia and love for the college. These were printed four color process on an offset press, then die scored and perforated three up on a Bob Sparia. After that, the envelope was tipped in and the piece was machine folded and tabbed for mail. Paper is 80 pound Finch Opaque Smooth White. They did about 10,000 of these. A very special thanks to the creators of the sample featured in this episode for sharing their solution with us. If you've ever been inspired by something you've seen on the show, please consider folding it forward and sharing your work too. If you're looking for more ideas, downloads, and templates, visit foldtechtree.com. And remember, think finishing at the beginning. I'll see you next week. Bye.